We may love our social media brands, but what about our mall brands? Anyone? I don't know about you, but like, I used to shop at the mall every day. And by shopping, I mean just standing around with my friends because I had no money. I actually just read an interesting article about how the global marketplace of athleisure is projected to go past $500 billion this year. It's mind blowing. So with that being said, it's no surprise that brands that really never touched activewear before are now dipping into that realm. At least from what I remember, I don't really remember like Abercrombie, Hollister, really putting out workout gear. Now they're all like creating their own lines subdivided from their brand. I feel like the first time I actually saw mall brands transition into coming out with their own activewear line was Victoria's Secret Sport. I remember looking at that like, damn, okay, I need to get myself a sports bra. But I'm here today to find out what these mainstream mall brands have to offer. Am I missing out? Are we missing out? I know these aren't necessarily their main focus. This isn't what they're known for, so I'm not expecting some trophy prizes here. They're not like my social media brands like Gymshark and Athlete. But nevertheless, this might be good for you, might be good for me. So I have here three full sets. We got one from Abercrombie and Fitch. We got Hollister, which I believe Abercrombie and Fitch owns Hollister, so that's interesting. And last but not least, we do have good old Aeropostel. I don't know about you guys, but when I think of mall brands, these are the three main ones that come to my mind. So I'm really excited to test them out. It's been a long time, and well, let's see if their activewear game is anything that I can get behind. But before we get into it, definitely do not forget to subscribe. We do weekly videos here on all things activewear. Tons of content coming your way. We got some new Gymshark, Alphalete. We also have a really dope spring aloe yoga haul because I don't know if you guys notice, but aloe yoga is seriously hot right now. All right, let's start with Aeropostel. Fun fact, in 2016, they actually declared bankruptcy, but thank goodness for TikTok, right? I never thought I'd say that but it actually helped them gain popularity again. And they researched, rebranded themselves, and here they are, like, good for you. Their main focus these days is like jeans and denim. I actually haven't tried any of them, but I am here for the activewear. So let's see what you got, Errol. Pastel. All right, I'm super confused. I have two orders here. This was the original order that I placed, this really pretty floral set. I got an email like a day later saying it was out of stock and that they couldn't process my order. So they like canceled it? Did they actually give us our money back? And then I reordered a nice pink set and I only got the bra. I don't know what the f is going on. I'm glad I got my floral set because this is originally the one I wanted for spring. So. This is a light support sports bra. Look how pretty this floral is. Everything is in a size small, by the way. Ooh, okay. We have a really pretty keyhole cutout. Thick straps, very soft. Light support, all I need. Look how pretty this floral print is. You got a nice mixture of light little flowers, dark flowers. Aeropostel biker shorts. Here's that front seam. As long as I don't get a crunch, we're good. I absolutely love the little crisscross band that we got going on here. It's pretty flat, the band in the back. There's no V seam or any curvature. So I don't know if it's gonna be super flattering on the glutes, but I think this would be really pretty with a nice lightweight baggy white t-shirt with a little floral pop underneath. Starting with a sports bra, this is so comfortable because you don't have those thin straps that are digging in. I think the keyhole backing is really cute. Overall, my true size is like, it's working, but I really think I could have sized down here. Again, everything in today's video is my true size small. I feel like there's a little let up right here. Like you see that little bagginess? I feel like if I size down to an extra small, it kind of bring the girls up and give me a little more support. I actually really love the fact that this whole set is this entire floral print. There's no breakup whatsoever. There is no contrasting of different solid colors. It's just one being, especially if I want to add on accessories. So for example, I wanted to see how it would look with a baggy t-shirt, which is how I would wear this. I'm not wearing this set to the gym. I need everyone to know that right now. I have active wear for the gym and I have athleisure wear for everyday life. This is athleisure wear. Throwing on a Gymshark tee, cause this is the vision I had of just having like a baggy t-shirt with a little pop of print underneath. Just how I thought it would look. Yeah, I, I think it looks nice to have a little bit of pop 
underneath when you wear something casual like a plain white baggy tee. The thick band is really nice. Right here you got a thick elastic band. So you know you're not gonna slip out of this thing, but again, I, I think if I could do it all over again, probably sizing down to an extra small, I'd feel a little more grab here where it counts. Moving on to the shorts, I absolutely love the V overlay that cut right here. I think that it works perfectly for this floral design. The dainty print, the dainty band, yes. The biggest thing I noticed with these biker shorts is there's no dig, thank God. There is no dig, there's nothing that's just cinching in feeling awkward, so I would keep my true size small for sure. The glutes, I mean, I'm not concerned with how they look here, but they're not half bad. Believe it or not, I don't care about my ass popping every minute of every day. Really, I only care about the gym, all right? So I can see my glute separation. When I'm going to the grocery store, it's all right if my glutes aren't speaking out loud. It's okay. Speaking of the glutes, though, I do have to say that when I'm squatting in these, which I really don't know why it would be, but just everyday movements, you know? If I'm squatting down in these, you do see the pattern fade. It just fades ever so slightly here. Not to an awkward white sheer, but it's still like, it's a noticeable pattern fade. I anticipated that to a certain degree. What's good is I'm wearing a dark undie underneath and I'm not seeing it poke through. I'm not seeing any color underneath. So I think that in terms of squat proof, you should be okay. This is not like a brushed feel. This is actually more on the slippery side. So I think if you worked up a sweat walking in the sun, this is the kind of material that's really good for wicking. It's lightweight. There's a good decent amount of stretch in here. I'd give it all a very low to moderate support though. I actually really love the fact that the seams blend in. You do not see the seams on this print, which is great. They didn't use like a stark white color where it just emphasizes the seams. So from far away, you could think it's seamless, but it's not. No dreaded CT in the front either. There's no discomfort. I'm wearing underwear again, so it's nice and smooth down there. Abercrombie always had that more preppy look. I always felt I was always a Hollister kind of girl. California surfs up. Abercrombie just reminded me of just like a little too fancy sometimes. So their brand is called YPB, your personal best. Wow, that smells good. I feel like that's part of the tactic to make you want it is they put like cologne or something on it, unless it's just reused. Okay, so I wanted to grab a nude color. This is a really nice, pretty, almost taupe. I believe it's the color sand. It's in the color sand. So I thought it'd be a really nice neutral for the summer. This feels a bit thick though. I feel like I'm gonna trap a little heat. To go with it, I got a square neck. Look how cute that is. I'm gonna wear these with jeans. Yes, I am. They call this the square neck slim tank. I think square necks and sweetheart necklines are really flattering, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm vibing with the crop top, not so much the leggings. First of all, I don't even know where to begin. Wait, so this is seven eighths leggings, but yet, no it isn't. <laughs> so apparently when you buy the seven eighths legging, it gives you an option. Do you want the short or the regular version? This is the regular leg. <laughs> I thought seven eighths was just seven eighths. What do I know? I would love for them to not advertise it as a 7 8 legging, just for you to have to choose 7 8 You know what I mean? It's an extra step and I could do without that. This has a pocket inside the legging, right? Which is cool. I mean, I don't really like pockets in the band very much, but on the side is another story. This one has it right in the band. Right where it ends, there's a seam. And I hate when you can see that seam going up your band. It bothers me. It's bad enough you got seams everywhere else for crying out loud. The one thing they pride themselves on is this four-way stretch right here. It goes all the way down the leg. Like that is one hell of a gusset, do you see? But so like if you're really doing some intense stretching, this could be good for you. It's okay. A Little bit of a camel toe situation going on, even with undies. I definitely feel like I've worn stretchier, more second skin type of yoga leggings. This isn't quite it. I actually feel like this gives me a lot of wrinkle going on around the band. It's a little very wrinkly band, especially in the back. Like, I just feel like this is very distracting. It's not a real smooth overlay that I like. I would not recommend sizing down. Like I would not. I don't think it would fix that. I don't think that would help. In fact, I think it would be very uncomfortable if I sized down. Cause already this, it, like I said, it's not the stretchiest thing I've ever worn. And these are $65 leggings. I'm pretty sure this set was the most expensive out of each of the brands. And I'm like not totally sold on these. Again, these would just be athleisure because I like seamless for the gym. So for athleisure leggings at $65 that aren't like Lululemon or anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't get behind it. It's soft and all 
not a ton of, look at that. There's not a whole ton of stretch. You can tell that it's durable material. I will give them that. You can tell there's durability in this. You're not gonna pop a hole through it. You can definitely work out in this set. I gotta mention the logo. It is printed and Bay actually spotted that the sports bra logo is peeling already. Okay, last but not least, Hollister. I really, this is what I'm most excited for because I have high expectations. When I was in high school and I used to go to that store, I would go into the dressing room where it was real low lit, everything would look so phenomenal. And then I would get home in the natural daylight and be like, what the hell is this? What did I just buy? Nevertheless. <laughs> it always smelled so good, so. Real pretty sage. So Hollister's activewear line is called Gilly Hicks. And Gilly Hicks partnered with them. They're actually, they specialize in lingerie, believe it or not. Ooh, these are buttery soft. Okay, these are the softest of the bunch. They're calling this color olive. This is sage green, baby. All right, this is not olive green because I wouldn't have bought it because that's off season. But it's sage green. Now it goes for spring. I'm really hoping these turn out well, but they're very soft, buttery soft yoga based leggings. A little thick, so it might be hot during the real hot summer months, but worth a shot. I don't think I need to explain why I grabbed this one. Hello? Aloe Yoga starting to come out with a lot of bras like this where the straps come up from the middle. It's really beautiful. So I'm really excited to see how this holds up. I'm not thinking I'm gonna do anything intense in it. I don't know if I like the logo though. The hell? It's a winking face. It's a winking smiley face. Is that a wink? Okay, Hollister, we're looking good up top. I don't know about the bottom though. So straight up, I think this bra is lovely. I just, the color, the cut, the strappy action, it's doing it for me. It is very comfortable. I had to fudge around with the bra pads a little bit. They were all folded up, but they look pretty smooth now. Everything's looking as it should. This is a total yogi bra, like low support. I feel like wearing this out, even just as a cute crop top with some jeans, looks really chic. Would not wear this to the gym. Nothing high impact at all whatsoever. Super true to size, I would say. No adjustments. And you do have removable bra pads, but the leggings are just a different, different story here. <sighs> when putting them up, I felt it right around the quads. Again, no stretch. Now granted, Abercrombie, Hollister, you know, they're one in the same. I guess I should have expected this from the Abercrombie try on just now, but like when I'm wearing yoga leggings, they better stretch. There's way less of a gusset on this one, so not as much of a four-way stretch. And this set is so much more brushed than the Abercrombie. So you feel it, it feels brushed. Very soft, I'll give them that. There's like one too many seams going on here. Now I know, I'm trying to keep open-minded with the seam thing, but like when I'm wearing yoga-based leggings, I still like minimal seams for the most part. This is just, this is like a little too distracting for me. It's very tight on the glutes too. Hard for me to pick the fabric up. Like look at this, very, very tight, kind of sandwiching me in. If I'm gonna wear yoga-based leggings, they better be two things, stretchy as hell, That's really it. And soft, I'm gonna go with soft, all right? In this case, I'm sticking with my buff bunny leggings. Thank you very much. But the top can stay. All right, this is cute as hell. Yeah, I just feel like it's stiff. This material is stiff. The color, beautiful though, I'll give them that. This sage color is so perfect for spring. All right guys, so what do we think of today's uh, experiment? This is my first time trying these brands activewear lines and I gotta say like, ultimately, maybe they should just stick to what they're good at. <laughs> Aeropostale pleasantly surprised me. That's a set I'm definitely keeping, especially for the season. Abercrombie and Hollister, I feel like they just need some work. Now, it's nothing against them. Again, keep in mind, we're used to those Instagram brands, social media, where that's their main and only focus is activewear. I do love a little bit of non-seamless for outside of the gym. I'm cool with that. I'm becoming more open-minded, but I still got some standards, okay? And some of these pieces just didn't quite cut it. I would be interested to check them out maybe a year from now, see if they've evolved a little bit, we'll see. But yeah, what are your thoughts? Have you guys tried any of these mold brands? Have you tried their activewear? Anything that you really are just super into? Next, I wanna actually try Airy. I've heard really good things about Airy, high quality, top tier stuff, so I might give them a check next. So if you'd like to see a video on Airy, let me know, pop a comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. We do videos just like this every single week. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video.